Hi, thanks for having me on your channel. My name is Mieko Anekawa. I am a San Diego based Japanese artist. Today is November 16th, 2024. I'd like to share a little about my journey as an artist and what inspires me. So, I was born and raised in Japan, which is a very structured country. People are expected to be respectful and modest. And while I really value those traditions, growing up, I felt like a little bit of misfit. Conforming just didn't feel true to who I was. But one thing that shaped me was being surrounded by such beautiful, detailed, and delicate art. It influenced me deeply, both visually and emotionally. When I moved to the US, it was like my creative boundaries just opened up. I felt free to explore bold colors and abstract styles, which was so exciting. But no matter what, I always find myself coming back to the delicate touch that reflects my cultural roots from Japan. It's something I truly appreciate and try to honor in my work. A couple of artists that have had a huge impact on me are Ito Jakchu and Vincent Van Gogh. Jakchu's work is just breathtaking. He combined traditional Japanese Nihonga style with this modern sensibility that feels so timeless. His attention to detail and the way he captured nature with elegance and energy inspires me every time. On the other hand, there's Van Gogh, who completely moves me with his vibrant colors and bold brushstrokes. His work is so emotional and it's helped shape the way I think about color and movement. I love the idea of merging their influences. The intricacy and elegance of Jack Chu with Van Gogh's expressive energy. For me, it feels like blending Eastern and Western traditions in my own way. Right now, I'm working on a series in a new style I've developed. It's expressionist with hidden words and playful elements. I start with abstract pattern in the background, layering in words and shapes. And then I outline the main subject on top. From there, I paint around the subject so it really pops forward. After that, I focus on shading and highlights to give it a realistic look. I'm so excited about this style because it feels so fresh and uniquely mine. Being an artist isn't always easy. For me, the hardest part is trusting my talent and not letting self-doubt creep in. It's tough, especially when things like sales aren't going well. I know I need to focus on my passion and not be so hard on myself. But let's be real, it's easier said than done. If I could go back and give advice to my younger self, I'd say, join an art studio or organization sooner. When I was living in New York, I thought having my own studio was out of reach because of the high rent. But after joining a studio in San Diego, everything changed. Being a part of a community of artists and meeting customers regularly was so motivating. It really pushed me to grow and improve my work. Looking back, I wish I'd taken the step earlier. I've experimented a lot with my technique over the years. One of my favorites is incorporating painted cut canvas pieces into my art to create a 3D effect. It's actually inspired by teaching kids art classes. I use paper with them, but found paper too fragile for my own work. So I switched to canvas. It's been such a fun way to add dimension to my paintings. Music is another big part of my creative process. I usually have Japanese pop or electro music playing while I work. The rhythm and energy help me get into a flow. 
And I think it brings out a lot of spontaneity in my painting. It's a great way to keep the mood light and fun. One of the most rewarding moments in my career was when I did a pet portrait for a client. Her brother had just lost his dog, and she wanted to surprise him with the portrait. He actually started crying, knowing that my art could bring someone that much comfort and happiness was such a powerful reminder of why I do what I do. At the end of the day, my passion is about bringing joy and positivity through my art. Life can be tough, and I think it's easy to get weighed down by hard moments. If my art can lift someone's spirits, even for a little while, that means everything to me. Right now, I'm part of group show at the gallery in Hillcrest, which I'm really excited about. And looking ahead to 2025, I have a few shows lined up, including a solo show at the Poway Art Center in May. You can find my upcoming show details on my website, miekoartworks.com. You can also sign up on my email list if you'd like to stay updated. I'm also very active on Instagram, where I share new artworks, behind the scenes moments, and show information. Please follow me there at Mieko Artworks to stay connected. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for having me on this channel and giving me the chance to share my journey and my art. I hope my story and my work bring a little joy and inspiration to your day.